Welcome to the Neon Cast. I'm Jim. I'm Sam. And today we have a little bit of a special episode. <laughs> Chinese cartoons. Chinese cartoons. Shitty Chinese cartoons. Yes. So we initially didn't know what we wanted to do for this episode. So Sam was like, hey, this season there's a new show called Fox Spirit Matchmaker airing. I was like, wow, foxes. That's like kind of in our wheelhouse, fox girls. It technically wasn't a new thing that was showing. It's just a Japanese dub of something <laughs> that came out like last year or two years ago or something. Yeah, it was. A, it's a Chinese cartoon, also known as an anime, that aired... I think it aired uh, last... It aired in the, um, what's it called? Fall of 2016 in China as 10-minute episodes. 10-minute web episodes. Like 40, like 40, 10-minute episodes. Yeah. And then Japan dubbed it into Japanese, which is really funny to think about. And then they made it a TV show. So they took... They take two episodes and put it together. And they very poorly edited it together. And they also did, like, animation touch-ups or something. I couldn't... <laughs> also made it a shitty, like... OP to like a really the OP was so Fucking bad awful. that we like actually put the Chinese version on and it was like a lot better yeah. and fitting. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. So we only watched the first. Actually, hold on. Let me introduce the podcast because I didn't do that. You did. You I, did. Kind, I kind You're of welcome. Did. I did, but so for those but, that don't know, we're a cat, we're a cat girl podcast. Yeah. There you we're, go. We're the Neon <laughs> Cast. We're a cat girl podcast. We talk about monster girls and cat girls and weird anime bullshit. And that, everything in between. And everything in between. Weird anime bullshit. So this. This past, I mean, there's a lot of, like, girls with, like, animal ears, so this works. Yeah, fox. Foxes. Mostly just foxes, yeah. Not nearly as good as Fox Dad. No, it does not hold a candle up to <laughs> Gugure Kukuri-san, also known as Fox Dad. Yeah, well, it's one of the things we watched today. We'll get to the second one later. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, we, well, we watched two Howliner shows. They're called Howliners. <laughs> They're a Chinese studio. And then I guess they make... Anime for a Chinese market because it's in Chinese. First and then Japan. Yeah, it. but I think I'm not sure. I think Blood of Wars might have originally aired. Oh, oh, the other Maybe. show we watched was Blood of Wars, which doesn't really pertain to our podcast, but I thought it'd be funny to like talk about two Howliner Chinese shows. I, I mean, we watched one episode, but both were just really bad and like really grueling on us to watch. Just one yeah. episode. the longest 23 minutes we ever had to spend watching. Oh, Blood of Wars was really a doozy. <laughs> I think more power to you if you watch the whole fucking show, but <laughs> holy shit. All right, so with the uh, so let's talk about the uh, the matchmaker first. So I think it's called Fox Spirit, Spirit Matchmaker. <laughs> do you want to try to explain the story? I do. For this one, I'll so it's not good at all. It's essentially, like, how many main characters can we cram into the first episode as we can? Because it's like... <laughs> how many times did we go, who is this? Like, every time a character would show up? <laughs> it literally was like, every three minutes there'd be a new character. And it makes a lot of sense that the first episode... Because we watched it on Crunchyroll, the first episode was actually the first two episodes put together. So I guess it kind of makes sense because they'd introduce everyone there. But it was like... Every, like, ten seconds, there was a part where it was like, oh, there's another fox A new girl. character would walk in, and, like, who is it? Like, oh, she has magical powers? Like, oh, they're flying suddenly? Like, So, Jim, what was the plot of the, of the first episode? All right, so we are introduced to the sexy fox lady who has big boobs, and she goes around, like, being a matchmaker, like, having people fall in love, I guess. It's not really explained. She kind of, they, they, they take, she takes her stuff and she fills a wish or something. Yeah, like that. but the first person that it, she does it to, it's really vague. That she like falls in, lo- like, I guess it's a boy that she's talking to, and she like match makes the boy with herself, and the boy's happy. But then she leaves. Uh, it, so she just like stole her stuff. I, I, just said, I don't know. I don't know. It was really vague, and it happened very quick. And I don't care. <laughs> so then we flash. Oh, 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 then a lolly comes in. Oh, yes. Um, then the lolly. A little fox lolly who's trying to become a fox spirit. Because apparently in order to become a fox spirit, you need to, like, do a quest or something. Yeah, you gotta ship someone with someone. Yeah, you have to become a matchmaker. So <laughs> she's given the quest to matchmake a guy. So, no, it was a girl. She gave the girl like, the secret thing with the, with the guy. She had like, a oh, okay. secret, like, like, redacted file of the guy. Oh, that's right, that's right. And, and then... And then hiding the zoo of... <laughs> she meets up with him... He's in. It's really like on just, a dating show. And there's yeah. like other characters just, just pop in without any real introduction. Like this is a guy's arrival. This is a fox girl. This is a fox dude in a beanie that we see for two seconds. This is another, yeah. This is a lot. Another lot that's with the other big titty girl. It really operates on dream logic, where there's just like they just <laughs> appear in a new setting, and there's new characters that haven't been introduced, and then they just are like still talking, like we have any idea what they're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. 
Yeah, and then just hiding in shoe. Main, then main dude's fighting. like 30 years old, he says. And he owns a farm. He owns a farm. He, he's also a monk. He's, he's a monk. His proportions are really weird. That was my biggest gripe for the show. They had character. There was no like character models. Like they just. But there's no on character models. Like they just drew characters like the way they wanted to, also, like Steven Universe style, and it did not work. Also, his hair is like a ponytail wrapped around his neck, like a choker, <laughs> and it's like really weird. And not would no one would ever want to do that. Uh, yeah, that really agitates me because, like, I have a pair of uh, headphones somewhere where it's like the the. Um, it's just like one wire that connects the two. They're actually right there. Yeah. But what happens is, if you have one in, one out, when you move your head, they always fall out. Like, if you had a ponytail that wrapped around your neck, if you moved your head slightly, it would literally start choking also you. Also, an itch like like a motherfucker. You have it. Yeah, it's just dumb. I hated it. And his character model looked like a shitty protagonist coon. And it was like it's candy because that's a trope. Oh yeah, he loves chocolate. Those candy and sweets. The little lolly girl who's trying to set him up drops a bunch of chocolate, and he's like, "Oh, I want to eat all this chocolate." He like shakes her dry like a fucking bully would. Yeah. <laughs> and then they get in a fight. Like everyone just starts fighting and using magical powers, and it was like. And then then sand and then they bring up reincarnations, kind of a thing. It's like that girl, the reincarnation of our, our <laughs> of a lord, and we're like, okay. <laughs> yeah. And this and this dumbass looking dog is is like her husband. And I'm like reincarnated as a dog oh i missed that I, that doesn't make sense then okay because they kept saying like they, they would have scenes where like one character would just drop exposition like it was their job and, and then there was the one monk guy who like ate so much food that he had a he was pregnant yeah that was gross i and didn't like that there and, and people were like this guy is something and i, I don't know because they were just a character would show up they would say like one or two lines and it would be like everything about their backstory it'd be like my husband, I need him to be oh. reincarnated as a human, and then that's it. Like uh, also, like the the part when like, she gets crashing through the thing, like all everyone in the audience like dropping exposition to each other. I'm like, what <laughs> yeah. the fuck is going yeah, on? The one dude is like whispering, he's like, yeah, the fox spirit is actually only a lo- comes around once every thousand years. It's just like, dude, why are you telling your friend this? <laughs> I don't know, this is this is bad. Like not good. It wasn't good, and I really don't have anything else to say about it. Uh, but there's also the the OP that was like <gasps> yes, really OP. quiet, trying to it's like serenade but like did not fit what was shown like no and that was like one of the things that was weird because we ended up looking at the chinese version which is like a 10 minute long episode and the op and the ed were different in the chinese version and they were much better (laughs) they fit a lot better we even got hip-hop in the japanese end credit song oh that was so weird yeah like man just rapping at my but the first of yeah like i tap my tap my foot to this one the chinese one (laughs) tap your foot to it yeah tap my foot to it the uh the Chinese versions were a lot better, I thought. Probably. The well, this is another thing too. Like when you have an OP, it's like you pay money to make it look good, and like you don't just use clips of the episode. Cause in the Chi- in the Japanese version, they just use clips from the show in the OP. In the Chinese one, they had like whole scenes that were animated. I mean, we got we saw all the characters like Spider Girl. We never got to see. <laughs> it's this horrifying looking like he. I- it was, like, a realistically sized spider with just, like, her upper torso was, like, a girl and with creepy spider arms. If, like, if they really wanted to do horrifying monster girls, like, in Nasa Musame, they would have, like, put this girl in there, like, horrifying. It was her so creepy. Her arms were really long. <laughs> and she didn't have fingers either. She had, like, spider tips. Ugh. Just it was like, gross. Probably one of the more disgusting things I've ever seen. Oh, it was so funny, though. I laughed so hard when I saw that. Because it was just so jarring. Because it, it was, Cause it was the whole OP was just, like, here's a character you you don't know. Here's a new character. Here's a new character. And then it was, like, here's this creepy spider girl who's all beat and, up, too. And, and we watched, like, everyone's, like, beat up in the intro. But, like, we got the Chinese <laughs> one, and it was, like, she wasn't even in the opening credit scene. Yeah. And, like, I'm pretty sure they just added, like, characters that were, like, in Japanese, what I'm assuming. Or just took clips, like, we need more characters. I think I think on. they literally just took, like, background characters and added them in. <laughs> Would be surprised. But, yeah, it's not very good. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard, like, hard to judge it. Because we watched it as, like, two episodes. And I was, like, I thought the pacing was really terrible. But even as, like, a single episode, I didn't like the pacing. The characters weren't good. The story made no fucking sense. Yeah. I was so confused what was happening at all times. I'm assuming the world knows... Yeah, they're also kind of weird the world knows about... Like, the god... Like, yeah, spirits y- Yokai live, like, with the humans. Yeah. But they have... There's, like, some organization that keeps them uh, separate. Fuck if I know, dude. I don't want to watch any more of this show. Yeah. I think we'll save our... Um, what, both of them? 
Yeah, we'll save our we'll save our cat girls. Are they cute for no. the very end? The lollies, isn't it? It's the lolly. And well, there's the the b- big, big titted one. There's we'll two s- lollies, big titted one, and then bin- business big titted one. There was business. <laughs> Just every stereotype for an anime lady that you can and, imagine. And then we're seeing that beanie dude was also a fox spirit guy. Yeah, he was. So I. Uh, we'll save that for later, though. No. We'll do our final judgments for after. <laughs> I think we should start talking about something really great. Twilight. <laughs> Blood of Wars. <laughs> edgy, edgy vampires. So oh, I first of all, let's talk about the name Blood of Wars. It's like it's so it's lame. Great. It's so. What are you talking about? It's one, so good. One of the lamest things. <laughs> it's it is extremely like edgy in the worst way. So. She explained the plot of Blood of Wars, which we barely got any any of the actual plot in the none. actual show. None of it. <laughs> none. Uh, ripped straight from Wikipedia, which is like, I couldn't find anything about Matchmaker, but I got, I'll think about Blood of, a little bit about Blood it's of Wars. It's not important enough to have it on Wikipedia. <laughs> 60 years ago, some people began to suffer from a strange case of insomnia that struck the entire population. Which I guess it happens, I guess. Yeah, Insomnia totally. disease. Yeah. <laughs> Unable to sleep for more than a week. I think you would, like, have way more, like, a lot of issues you couldn't sleep for a week. People would be literally dropping like flies. They would be dying. They, <laughs> like, you could not, I don't think you could go a week without sleeping. If the like, whole world, if no one slept for a week in the whole world, society would collapse. Like, on no one would be able to level. drive, like, there would be accidents. <laughs> work, all work would cease, all production would cease. <laughs> Unable to sleep for more than a week, a large number of people have become completely sleep deprived, and eventually went mad with rage. You go mad with rage. <laughs> went mad with rage. <laughs> they wouldn't have any energy. Apparently, they do when you're insomnia. Their brain would like literally be like boiling itself. A new medicine was produced to cure the illness, but it has a side effect which turns patients into vampires, which happens, I guess. Yeah, of course. But the vampires <laughs> only can go on the sunlight. I think the only thing is that they drink blood. Yeah, the all, literally all they do is drink blood. So they're more like zombies. They have no superpower, like, say, in this show or anything. All that happens is, I guess, that they don't drink blood. They they go to, like, a rage mode where they grow teeth and start mauling people. Yes. But, okay, we should talk about what happens. Right, I'm not finished yet, All right, though. sorry. We'll, 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 get to, we'll get to that. My favorite fucking part of the whole show. <laughs> Later, these vampires are called the Blood of Wars. They are feared by other people and wear a special necklace, a.k.a. a choker, that sends a signal to the police if Blood of Wars <laughs> and he will control their emotions. Milu, and called a child of hope, white-haired blind protagonist. If you don't know, born from a human in a blood of war, but I, I don't think a blood of war would be nurse. Like I'm pretty sure it's a side from a disease. So you just, I guess that makes you have a vampire. You can't, you can't like get a disease that turns you into another species. <laughs> well, how, apparently, turns you a vampire. That's how species work. <laughs> so. Or for, so he along his three friends are vilified for killing all humans in a bank they robbed. They are sentenced to death. Then a strange thing happens where they are thrown to a mysterious place with a lot of unexplainable monsters along with all the sentenced to death prisoners. A girl greets them and reveals they are given new collars and are filled with explosives, aka battle royale. <laughs> we prevent them from killing each other. Keep killing from wait from F. Yeah, prevent them from killing other blood of wars. She then announces their mission to survive. So. Okay, we need to talk about it, because it made me laugh so hard. So, the one one random character is a Blood of War, I guess, and he doesn't drink blood, and he Any, starts going crazy. Anyone that drinks is a Blood of War. Yeah, so he his, his starts glowing. No, there's, yeah, there's, 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 like, two guys are, drink, are drinking, like, coffee or tea at, like, a cafe and across the street, and, like, yeah, some dude busted a window, and we're like, what the fuck's up with this guy? Coffee glowing. He, like, knocks the girl down, like, try, and starts like, drinking her yeah, blood. Yeah, his eyes start going red, and his teeth grow out, like, vampire teeth. Yeah. And then, so <laughs> they, I guess he kills this girl, and then a SWAT van pulls up, and like, these guys just un- load on like, him they just gotta make this brown pattern of like they like, shooting garlic <laughs> yeah, bullets it looked at like him like the brown like yeah the garlic it looked like the color of garlic like, when two, they shot the gun like two guys there's like two, like, two slot guys come out and just shoot like both on the pistol like on him and then another, a van pulls out the door open you see like 20 more like got <laughs> like like slot guy get out all with batons just burst <laughs> beating, beating you know, like, I'm pretty sure he's fucking dead which are like garlic bread batons soaked in holy water oh my god yeah the fucking I love the idea of it they're soaking if, all their things in garlic. If only their batons were crucifixes instead. Oh my god, that would have been <laughs> the fucking like, nail in the coffin. But yeah, so let's talk about <clears throat> our... So we have white hair protagonist, bland guy. Uh, I literally don't feel anything about Tiss McGee. Yeah, booby lady. His and boobs don't jiggle at all. They're very We have dumbass, dumbass friend... Which one? <laughs> no, the, the one that's like really stupid. Oh, the short-haired guy? Yeah, like, and then we had like, the, the 
calm getaway driver, I guess. Yeah. And then they rob a bank, they get the money by hacking into the computer. <laughs> they hacked on the computer, and in the corner of the computer screen it said, hack, and then three exclamation It basically points. had a hacking mini game from, like, any other game with a hacking game yeah. on it. And they open it, they go to the deposit boxes in, like, half a second, and then they, like... <laughs> there was a really hilarious shot where they were, like, oh, taking money out of the boxes, and there were literally, like... 13 boxes, like, falling simultaneously. Like, they would have had to be moving at the speed of sound we to collect like that much money. We got, like, million yen here. Like, we count it. And then... Yeah, they counted their money while they were still in the bank, because that's the thing you do. <laughs> yeah, then they walk away. Some kid comes out of the bathroom, like, we gotta shoot the kid. He saw my face. I'm like, he's a kid. He's stupid. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, they all they had is, like, sunglasses on to protect their identities. <laughs> but you can see through the sunglasses. Then, like, you see their eyes through the sunglasses. <laughs> And, like, they would yell each other's names, too, which is kind of stupid. And they all have collars on. Oh, so they did yell each other's names. They yelled each other's names. They had the collars on. And they had bright colored hair. So it was And they just wore their regular, like, street clothes, too. Like, yeah. Like, they would just immediately get... And, like, covering your eyes is, like, would probably isn't going to do as much when you have, like, bright colored anime hair. Yeah. I have a question hmm. that they didn't explain. So, you know how they said they could track them with their chokers? Why didn't they just take their chokers off? I'm guessing they would just be stuck on there since they're blood of wars. They'd be but, rich. like... It probably ha- would have something go off saying this person going off the grid. But yeah, they're that's what they do that so they because she's already being tracked. Why wouldn't they just cut her? I'm, I'm choker assuming it's just stuck on. It's just stuck on them. I guess I don't know. We, they wasn't explained. Maybe it blows up too. Fucking plot. Oh, maybe. It, well, no. They said that later on they get ones that plot. I don't know. Maybe it also blows up too. They had to activate the function just when something else happened. It's shitty and the show's terrible. I'm sure they didn't have a good reason they, for it. They didn't shoot a kid. They were shot a kid. They would have loved they shot. That would have been hilarious if they tried to kill that kid. He did shoot. At one point, I might have missed, but yeah, <laughs> they leave. They have a really, they really shitty like car chase. Yeah, with the sh- like knockoff initial D music. <laughs> Deja vu. Oh, they, so bad. Yeah, it's just, it just like yeah, all this shit goes on. Like they have this really shitty like CG. Oh, the one flash grenade like knocks out like five, <laughs> ten cop cars <laughs> behind them. It was like such a delay too. Like the grenade went off, and then two seconds later, it was like. <laughs> and, and, yeah, if you're blind and going down a straight like highway, the first thing you need to do <laughs> is just like swerving. swerving into the other cops. Like oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah, then they get arrested. They get like the death penalty. Because apparently the 15 people in the in the bank all were <gasps> dead. They were killed, but there weren't any bullet holes. So they were framed. <laughs> Clearly. Because also bank doesn't have any cameras. No, that's illegal. <laughs> it's illegal. Maybe in Japan, I guess they don't have, <laughs> they don't have like security cameras. No, no. Not at all. They, ha- they don't have that technology in Or Japan. China. Oh, it's China. Oh, it's they China. definitely don't have that technology. <laughs> it's China. You gotta remember, it's like China-based ja- ja- Japanese cartoon. Do you want to tell the, our fans, our audience, what the very ending, the after credit sequence was? <laughs> the one you sit there trying to get to the, the Caesar was anything, and just get to, uh, bulls just shooting <laughs> to the van on like, all sides. Yeah, they had the main characters in a van, and then cops just like came in there and just unloaded like full, like assault rifles, like just killing these people. And then they didn't, though, because the next episode... Literally, the preview started like right immediately after this, they stopped shooting, and like, oh yeah, they're actually in a yeah, warehouse. They didn't get killed, I guess. In the first episode. Yeah, no, <laughs> not a big deal. Hit the, hit the end credit scene there. <sighs> so fucking terrible. It was, it was just bad. It was like, I, I heard all these like jokes and memes last year about like, well, Blood of Wars is terrible. And then actually seeing it, it's bad in ways that aren't even like fun to watch. It's just bad and like, wow, this like the episode felt like it took like ten. That was the times longest long. twenty three minutes I've ever had to watch anything. Even like the other one we watched before that didn't last nearly as long as that one did. It was just everything about it, like like every other movie I've ever seen or TV show, when they rob a bank, it's like stressful and they have like ten seconds to do yeah, it. They're racing against time, but uh, but they but don't worry, those the SWAT guys are too busy beating that <laughs> vampire outside to worry about the bank being robbed. All of the police department in China was just beating up this one dude. <laughs> yeah, they they just stand and like wait there while they're robbing the bank for like so long. Like literally, the whole bank robbery is ten minutes in the first part of the episode. And it felt like full fucking episode. Oh my god, I hated it. <laughs> Your favorite anime. It was so bad. It was, it was just really bland. At least, one thing I have to say, the character models at least stayed on model in this show. They didn't just, like, like look so different that I thought it was a different character. Also, I love the courtroom rabbling, like, rabble, 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 rabble. I yeah. love the people in there throwing paper. <laughs> <laughs> throwing paper, yeah. They were so angry. Like, they're sitting there, I'm like, rabble, 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 like, throwing more papers. Like, I loved it. It was oh, hilarious. It was so bad. I hated it. I, re- I really hated it. 
Don't watch either one. Yeah, don't watch either. They're not even funny bad. Like, I've heard of a few shows that are, like, really funny bad, but mm-hmm. I haven't seen. Ghost Stories? Ghost like, Stories, the dub is just, like, an abridged series, and it's great. Because the whole, like, show itself is so bad, so they're just, like... Well, yeah, they do whatever you want, and it came hilarious, like... Yeah, it's so hilarious. <laughs> Touch me. Touch me harder. <laughs> I, I, love, I couldn't love you because you were a rabbit. It's because you were black. <laughs> so good, like, like no show deserves to be like that. But Jim, the real question: Blood of Wars, are they cute? <laughs> no, no one in Blood of Wars is cute. Everyone sucked. Uh, Did it please your vampire fetish? No, I don't like vampires, and these aren't even vampires. No, they're, they're blood just of like wars. they're normal humans they're that wanted. Wars. Yeah, they exactly. They, it's they're, a very accurate they're title. They're affected by a disease that made them into vampires. A new species. Either have it, 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 yeah, the disease that turns you into a different species. Oh, the one thing I wanted to talk about. I love how that one character mentions how Blood of Wars are discriminated against. Like, okay, all right. It, it, yeah, the bank like, I like you people. I want you people to get money to get blood. <laughs> I have a friend who's a Blood of War. <laughs> so good. Oh, my God. And Fox Girl. Is she cute? Uh, I kind of... No. Uh, okay, I hate to say... Really like Dodgy and Smite. Yeah, yeah, I like Dodgy. She, the one girl kind of reminded me of Dodgy... But I didn't like her design that much. And as I said, like, her design was always, like, off-model, and it didn't look appealing. <laughs> change every time. You say, like, every, she changed yeah. her model every time she appeared. Yeah, there was that other cat girl that showed, or other fox well, girl. Other lolly the, girl. Well, besides the lolly, the one that was with... We had business, business fox. Yeah, I didn't like anybody in that show. <laughs> no one was cute, and the character models are garbage. And it wasn't funny, and I didn't like it. Watch anything... Maybe we should watch a good Fox show, like, other than Fox Dad, like, we should watch, like, Spice and Spice and Wolf, you yeah. mean? It's like, the, like, I the would like to watch one. That. Everyone says it's good. <laughs> treat yourself something good. <laughs> treat yourself from treat our, treat ourselves terrible Chinese good. anime. <laughs> so, yeah. No, no. No. Blood of Wars, no, no. Yeah, what's your ultimate takeaway on both of these shows, on Chinese animation as a whole? <laughs> Uh, Blood of Wars would have been 20 times better if it was just SWAT guys just beating Blood of Wars like on the street and, and all these shows just them beating them with like all these crimes they're having behind them they're just taking turns beating a vampire it kind of felt like that scene in Airplane where yeah, the like, one guy starts shaking yourself, yeah, like, exactly. I would, the line of people with weapons like <laughs> I would love to just like SWAT guys beating up Blood of Wars with just various like stereotypical vampire weapons like, they have, like he had a steak and then he just flicks it around with a blunt side and starts beating him with it like <laughs> I don't know, love that. That would have been actually so a hilarious bad. gag. Like this, even like sun, like they have like a flash, like just shining in their eyes, or like a UV mm-hmm. light, like like jo- like part two JoJo having like a UV light backpack, <laughs> just shining on them, like burning them slowly. Um, well, actually, I was thinking, I was just I thought of this. Speaking of vampires and how cool vampires are, <laughs> do you want to talk about oh, Castlevania? Look. Oh, we're just are we trying to talk about what we... Do you want to do, like, a separate episode about that, or do you want to talk uh, about that in our we little... We four episodes. I'm really much to... All right. I think we talk about what, what we've been watching. Do you want to get into what we've been watching, then? Yeah, I think it's a Any, time. any other words on Blood of Wars or or Fox... Or Matchmakers? Fox Girl any, daughter. Any other any other wise words you want uh, to say about I hated this? it. I hated them both, pretty much. They belong in the garbage. Yeah, they really do. They're bad. Wish your waifu. <gasps> <laughs> dare you. Not including Makoto. <laughs> she's fine <laughs> it's just the objective persona of the best persona waifu like they did they perfected the persona waifu all the four all the ones in four are trash <laughs> stop i disagree <laughs> you, sam's views do not speak i for don't all like of the four girls that much other than now though i like um she she no, and you she she are terrible you guys good nah man everyone in three is good I think everyone in three is fine. Yukari's not good. Yukari's great. Shut Yukari's up. Yukari's like mediocre. I love Yukari. She's so generic. <laughs> you just shut up. She's such a bitch. I hate her attitude. <laughs> it's defective. Oh, my, the, my mommy's a dead <laughs> woman. I don't fucking care. <laughs> my dad fucking died. My mom the guy, like good. dating other people. I need to get over it. It's fine. Good. Shut up, Jim. It's fine. <laughs> All right. I didn't uh, date a robot. <laughs> I actually have a lot to talk about in this next segment. So what... Have you done in your week, Well, we can both talk about uh, Castlevania then. Yeah, we should start there. We both there. watched that. It was really good. I was really pleased, surprised, and pleased how much. Because Castlevania had, had a good game. I don't know how long. <laughs> and the show was, in, was like, really brutal. Like, a lot of fun. Like, I loved animation and everything. Yeah, it was fucking awesome. I, I love 
like adult animation i love when the west does adult animation because it's so rare like we talk about anime all the time and anime always has like animation geared towards adults but it's really rare to have like an action show geared yeah. towards adults in, in the west and just like i don't want to spoil because i want people to watch this like yeah we, uh, we won't spoil it just like the gore like this amazing like, Fucking... so brutal like or something i was like i was like holy shit man oh yeah <laughs> it was some of it was really awesome like the characters are great like good mm. dracula like dracula was so cool he was like there's a little prologue kind of the first episode's like a prologue yeah and it's awesome like they introduced dracula in such a cool way and like i've never played any castlevania games so like I at only, least personally i, mean, I don't have a connection I mean, to it i played one of them i think that was like one of the snes ones mm. but I, that's a long time that i played that i'd like to try not like Super, any of the really old ones try this, the snes ones would probably be the most snes games are the easiest one to go back to mm. and play I, I think I I would like to play one of the more recent ones just because I I know like well, the, the I want like quicker combat. The ones that come that came out recently that I, that I think people were fine with or the, the Lords of Judgment I think it was the remember the like the the three like the beat 'em up kind of one. Okay. It's kind of like a hack and slash beat 'em up. Yeah. Correctly. That one those look the most fun I for me. I think people like those. Like I'm not I didn't like looking too much into those mm-hmm. but like I think it's Super Castlevania. There's one where he plays Alucard and that's like, yeah. that one people like a lot. Alucard, which is Dracula spelled backwards, <laughs> like which no is the bomb. funniest thing. Which is Goblin spelled backwards. <laughs> no <bomb. laughs> but yeah, it really good, really brutal. Recommend it like a hundred percent. Watch it, support it. It's getting a season two sometime, mm-hmm. but like written like Warren by, Ellis. Yeah, written by Warren Ellis, awesome comic book writer. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna how applicable this will be, but Netflix did the Voltron show, mm-hmm. and they kind of had a similar thing where they just kind of like released a few episodes it was like a, a very small season yeah and then they were like yeah more episodes coming and like within six months i think a new season came out so maybe within like this year you, we'll see it maybe by the end of this year do you think the show will jump to the other belmonts too like the one from like simon and like the other one from the game i don't know I'm, I'm more familiar with simon get a horrible night to have a curse <laughs> Like, I, yeah, I, it seems like the whole, like, for this thing seemed like a prologue to the real show, like, yeah. where they kind of were assembling the cast and introducing everyone. Yeah, because, like, the, yeah, it felt like at the end, it was, you know, it was like, we gotta go, we got the team together. Yeah, pretty much. But, yeah, so but we it watch was, it. Yeah, I really highly recommend it. And, um, yeah, so we both watched that, but uh, I recently finished Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Oh, wow. Great, I loved it. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't perfect anime, but it's still a really enjoyable ride. What would you give it out of ten? That's what my rating. Eight, eight, eight and a half. Nice. Like, I enjoy, it's a solid enjoy, enjoyment of a ride, like, a lot of fun. Like, twist and turn, I don't want to, like, spoil, like, I, don't, I can't, like, go spoil, like, talk too much about it, because you haven't seen it. Yeah. But, like. I like I like the character like even the side you know you can tell the shonen because they had like a lot of side characters in it but like they everyone had their moments kind of thing but mm. like, wasn't like kill the character or toss them aside everyone kind of had their moment and like by the end that's so, nice I like that OPs like, the OPs were pretty good like, some like some of my favorite like, end credit songs were in there like I don't know but everything about it like characters waifus. <laughs> And he said the dub was really good. Dub, yeah, I listened to the dub because I did. I watched a lot while I was building Gundams, and mm. I enjoyed it a lot. Like, I, you know, people probably give me shit for like watching the dub, but <laughs> sometimes you got to do what you got to do, and sometimes it's easier to just, like multitask when you're having the dub. Playing. I think that's one of the more acceptable dubs. It's well done. Like, I thought it was, like really, like everyone was like voice was really well. Like, it fit mm. them, for, like what their character was like. So, like, I recommend it definitely. Give it a try. It's a good gateway, also, into watching longer shows, because it just, like, follows the manga a lot better. Mm. It's long, but everything goes in, in a good pace, like... That's, not, like, the best part about a long show. Like, the best way to make a long show is, like, you need that pacing. Yeah, the pacing goes, like, you don't get... You don't, but, like, early on, it's kind of, like, you know, you need to start to, like, meet the, the two main characters. It's kind of like that, but, like, once you once it gets going with, like, the main plot and the main villains, it mm. just... It goes. Like, stuff happens. Like, I... The one thing I hate is like in it's like it's like villains going like eh, is everything going according to plan everything here gets a victory like this is all going according to plan yeah. both sides get victories and losses like the good guys and the villains which I love that like mm-hmm. like that's like the one thing I wish they did like like oh man they took a loss and then they took a loss or like yeah small victories like I just I love that kind of thing and like the whole it was also like a, like a like how are they gonna get out of this situation kind of thing yeah like. 
what's gonna happen. But yeah, I loved it a lot, definitely. Yeah, when they do the thing where it's like, and when the bad guys win occasionally, it really makes the stakes higher, because you don't know. Because if you watch something like JoJo, you're like, alright, well, we know that JoJo is not gonna get killed by this jobber, like... (laughs) <laughs> well you give me those looks <laughs> but uh but yeah like you watch uh, most protect like shonen shows and when it's like okay we know that the good guys are gonna win but like when they have them actually lose things you're just like okay that's awesome like because yeah they're like there are vi- villains where like like the villain like one of the like one of, like the minor like, like they're part like the henchmen kind of like, to the major villain but like they took a lot like they get like powered down where they're kind of their prisoner but then mm. like they, they get a victory they come back like power but then they get like Oh, that's cool. It's kind of like that, where, like, yeah, they had their victories, everyone had their victories, everyone has their losses, like, both sides are equal. Like, it's, it's, that's what I love, I hate, I hate those snip, like, villains, like, everything going according to plan behind the shadows, and they don't get stopped until, like, their final plan, like, really enact, even though, like, you know, yeah, like, uh, this is my pet peeve, but, like, other than that. No, I I totally agree. And then, what's the second new one? So, yeah, definitely recommend watch it if you want to, like, you know. Like it's like you want to get into that, like a shonen, mm-hmm. like, like an easy shonen to go through and watch. Definitely. And then, uh, I recently replayed Saints Row 3, which I love the first, like, the first two games are one of my favorite, like, Xbox games, because I, they were, the second game is especially one of my, one of my top ten games of all time. It's, it's a lot of fun, but, like, the third one is just, like, it's fine, but it's just, like, not Saints Row. Hmm. Was it the same studio? Uh, Voltation still did it, but the, that's when they got picked up by like, THQ, I think. Oh, really? And the, the game kind of changed up to like instead of like being like a like a game that it was like an action an action movie with humor like you know put in there every so often, it mm-hmm. became more of a comedy thing with act like, way too much uh... comedy. Play. And like all like the storylines from the second game, like the series, like could your character like your character came like you know the revenge thing kind of in the second game, and like after that you kind of a goofball and like you, your character sold like you know this gang sold out and everything. Like, oh. It's just like the second game is so good, and then you play the third one, it's just not like not nearly as fun. The world is so much more fun. There's way more to do. I think. Sounds like a flanderization. Like yeah. Just kind of. And it's fine. The fourth, and the fourth one like ruins everything because you get the superpowers, but like. It's just the game. What's the point of doing a GTA style game when you can't? There's just no point of driving the cars or helicopter when you just run and yeah, fly that's around. True. And like even when shooting people is not even that fun. Like I don't know. It's, yeah. Second game is still like my one of my all time favorite games. Like third game, most thing the game has going for it's customization, character creators like probably and they and like clothing and you know making an outfit for your character is probably way better. But I kind yeah. of just went back to like the roots of like, the first two games. I never played them, so I don't really have much to say. Yeah, I'm really just too play, interested just in them. Play, this, the first one's only on Xbox 360. Really? That's strange. I think PS3 and Xbox 360, the first one, which the first one's great. It's kind of it kind of dated, but I still loved it. I had like some of my favorite like Xbox experiences on there. I played a uh, there was a mode called Protect the Pimp. It's kind of like the leader. You had to escort your leader to the yeah. end. But like the leader, yeah, he only had a melee, but it was a pimp slap. It was a one hit kill. <laughs> So like you have to cover while well, like people like, your teams are covering you, but if you, like, you try to run up and slap the enemy, like, <laughs> it's like a ama- it was like one of my favorite like multiplayer modes. It's so intense. That's funny. That was the only one people actually play in that multiplayer. But yeah, the first one was great. The second one was great. Like the second one is probably the best one. If I had my favorite, some of my favorite like story moments in like in video games, I really like, memorable to me. Like, huh. but yeah, the second one's on Steam by like, five like five bucks on sale. Get I think that you might have gotten it for me, or no, no I, you, you I got, got it in the pack. You got a THQ bundle at that one. Yeah, time. that's right. But if you do, if you want to get a chance, play a second one. That's all you need. To, you know, you won't. Probably, some things you won't understand because the first game. I don't know why you sure it's on not Steam too deep. yet, but yeah. So that's it for me. What about you? Well, yeah, the Castlevania thing, uh, and then I've been watching uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, mm-hmm. which how much how much get done? Stuff. I finished the first season. I'm like halfway in the second season, and is like shorter, short seasons or yeah, they're ten ten episode long seasons, and with HBO, and it's really good. I like that a lot. It's very relatable. If you don't know, Kirby Enthusiasm is, uh, like a semi fictionalized version of George Costanza, <laughs> essentially. Uh, Larry David, who is the co creator of Seinfeld, who based most of his life on George Costanza, <laughs> and it's just like the most cringe show, like. He, you relate so much to the main character, but he's such an asshole that you hate him at the same time. And he always, the whole episode structure is always like, Larry David is an asshole to someone. 
he does something kind of unrelated and then he runs into that person again and then they get like karma on him and then he suffers in the end and it's always him like suffering at the end of the episodes <laughs> it's really funny it's really satisfying but it's hard to watch sometimes <laughs> that uh i watched i'm watching some flight of the concords too lately all this stuff just got put on amazon video have you ever seen flight of the concords Mm-mm. oh my god it's so fucking funny it's two New Zealand guys who are in a, a band. They move to New York City to try and get famous, and they're just terrible, and they're so poor, and their manager is, like, this other New Zealand guy who works for the consulate, and he's just awful at managing. It's just really funny. It's very charming, and they always have these really funny songs they play. I heard it, but I never... Like... It's classic. I'm trying to think of what you would have seen... You've definitely heard the one dude's voice. Jermaine Clement, he's been in a bunch of things. Probably. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's really it. That and playing the JoJo fighting game. I just, uh, no, I just had an all-star battle. All-star battle. Well, it's a terrible name. I hate that name. <laughs> like, it's something bad. Eyes of Heaven, at least that's like interesting. Eyes of Heaven. But yeah, I guess that's really it. I can't think of any anime. I'm really hyped for the Centaur Girl anime. That's in a couple weeks, though. Yeah, we're gonna wait till there's three episodes out for that. Yeah, yeah, we gotta torture ourselves. We gotta torture me. You're so excited. This is literally my most anticipated episode of the year mm. for Neoncast. Oh boy. Ugh. But yeah, that's really it for my week. I right. think we should go into our 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 next. No, segment. Jim. We're just we're just, root we're, beer we're just, talk. We're just plug in what we have and it's ended. Root beer talk. No, it's not trying to make it a thing. It's a fucking thing. No, it's it's not. happened for literally it's the last it's five. Let it happen organically. It's not it has happened organically. No, it's not. You just you're trying to throw it in there. Yes. No. I. You can follow us. You can follow us on uh no. on Gmail. And... You can you can follow us on Gmail. Yeah, <laughs> that's a thing. I don't know. So you, you take the plugs. you take a root beer no, out Jim, of the fridge. Shut up! Fuck off. You off. crack it open and then I'm there's a leave right now. there's a little cute spider girl. <laughs> Ew, so on on the cap. What's your reaction? <laughs> Nothing. I would just like throw it at you. Shut shut down. Shut down. Shut down your throat to shut up. Wait, the spider girl? Yeah. She's in my mouth now. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so shut hot. Up. Just plug. Just do the plugs. No. Edit in the plugs we right need, now. We need to stretch the episode out no. a little longer. It's, we need to get to 45 minutes. No, we don't. Shut up. <laughs> we have to talk about Ruby. We want to do that. We're talking about JoJo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, check out our JoJo podcast. We Shut do up. those. Okay, we actually end it now. End the pain. I'm holding a sign thing. End the pain. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just want to remind everyone that root beer is a pretty good drink, and try, try, try out those uh, alcoholic root beers, they're pretty good. Not really. Yeah, they're actually not that great. <laughs> I kind of, I, I have like one and I get sick They have now. it like Not Your Mother's Iced Tea, I think I saw. Yeah. And Not Your Mother's Something Else. I, it was like three of them, I just didn't know the uh, other one was. Fuck, I saw, I looked it up the other day, I'm actually curious about that. I, don't, I didn't like Not Your Father's though. Yeah, uh, I think that... Just the root beer is the worst part. Did you have you tried no, the ginger ale? The like the worst part I, of the uh, root. The beer. Nine Fathers. Yeah, I hate they do that a ginger taste. ale. I don't do ginger ale. I know Best Dam does like cream soda now. I had that. It's actually pretty good. The cream one. Yeah, the cream cream soda one. I normally don't like Best Dam at all. I like the cherry cola one. Uh, I had. My problem is just too Comedy Bang Bang Live. I had that. That's it. Was actually really good. Like, Did you have it on tap? It was it, it it was a can, but they had it. Okay. Know, like they put it into a cup of like, like a plastic cup with ice and everything. That yeah. was like really good. It it having that can over ice is really good. Okay. I, so. I would love to if they had made those on tap. If they made it not your father's on tap, I would totally try that. I think that would make it like literally okay. We went to New York like we went by by the Madison Square. They had like twenty different best damn signs around. <laughs> like they were like the official drink of Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Uh, it's not very good. I mean, I actually like the cream soda because this this last weekend I was at a party and some guy had a bunch of like this exciting ones. Yeah, he had nothing but smeared off Gatorade. <laughs> Can you imagine to go to a party that's all he had or this nasty like Gatorade smeared off ice? Were you there when I got that one? Yeah, you told me about it though. It's not very good. It's just like it doesn't taste like anything good. It's kind of gross. Imagine smeared off ice and it's just for ice and bros. <laughs> Well, this has been this week's alcohol. segment of the root beer of talk. Of alcohol talk. Of root beer alcohol talk. See, it is happening. Yeah, alcohol uh, is more interesting than root beer. It is. Well, that's why I, I've done it before. I, I reach into the alcoholic realm of root beer. <laughs> mm. All right. Well, Do I, your think, plugs now. I think this is the end of the podcast. Good. Uh, 
This has been Jim. Oh, wait, no. Sorry. Do your fucking plug. I said it 20 times do your plugs, and you don't do the plugs. Opening up the plug bag. <laughs> no, that's, get, that's copyrighted. I can't. <laughs> Probably is. All right, so. <laughs> don't sue a Scott Ackerman. Scott Oxman. <laughs> Scott, Scott Oxman. <laughs> okay, so check us out. We're on iTunes. We're on YouTube. And that's it. Uh, check us out at The Neon Cast, the most original name in the world. Isn't it so funny? Isn't it <laughs> so cute? What's the email? It is theneoncast at gmail.com. And if you send us a suggestion of a, a guessing episode or a show, we will review the first one sent to us. Yes, that is, offer is still on the table, I believe. Bro, I haven't checked the email. All, all four of you. You got it's right there for you. <laughs> I know. Literally, if you've made it this long, if you made it past the root beer talk. That's it for you. You know you, not you. Yeah. You know who you are. Yeah, come on, come <laughs> you on, blood dude. Of war. You fucking you filthy blood of war. Blood of war. <laughs> Both that one, that one racist turn that we watched that one anime. Oh the, my the, god. Disfeatured. Disfeatured. Yes. <laughs> fucking disfeatured. You're disfeatured. Blood of war. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> that was fucking terrible. <laughs> Most of the shows we watch are terrible. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right. So that's, yeah, that's been Sam.